It was the 15th last Friday. I was informed by the uh, chief of medical officers that, my, that that day was my last day. Okay, and then I reconfirm it with the um, with Dr. Thompson, who is the CEO, I think. And she said the same that my services are not necessarily that they are not needed anymore. And I ask her why. Well, it says uh, it's because of finances. They don't have money to pay to the doctors. Would you agree that not needed and not be able to pay for it isn't the same thing? Well, I don't know who made the decision that I'm not needed, but we know the people need services. I had a contract to do on call allowances to do the emergencies and also uh, in consulted in the hospital where patients are admitted, the doctors and other specialists call me to give my opinion on the diagnose the diseases. But of course it's needed because if you go to the hospital and you have an acute glaucoma and the general doctor cannot diagnose it, you go blind. Apart from the injuries on the job, no? So uh, one person is one person, no? And the thing is the majority of people, the poor people especially, are the ones that suffer. Yeah. So we need it, of course, you need an ophthalmologist, you know. And you see it's from all over the country. We have too many diabetics also. In Belize, 50,000 diabetics, you know. You tell me you don't need, and, and diabetes affects the eyes. So it's their decision, and uh, we have to respect the decision of the government, no? Yes, I, I know they are short of funds everywhere, but I haven't heard they firing other people from other departments yet. I think the medical sector is the first to be affected.